Well, Tracy, that man was knocked unconscious while eating dinner here at the Harry Buffalo restaurant on East 4th downtown. He was sitting in one of those window seats right over there when a group of protesters walked by and in a split second that situation changed. As the protest came through, the man picked the sign up off the sidewalk and just threw it straight at me. Todd Hayes is shaken up and sore tonight after he says he got hit with a sign made of metal and wood. It hit me on the, on the left side and then bounced off my head. The impact so hard, Todd landed on the floor, and his friend Mike witnessed it all. Yeah, he was out for a while. There's a really good Samaritan nurse who came in, and she helped him out. Todd and Mike both tell me the person responsible was the lead protester at the time. He intended to hit me. It was very clear that he looked straight at me and threw it right at me. They were in the, in the process of shutting all the windows when they saw the protesters come up, just in case. And this was like the last window they had gotten to, and they were about to do that one. So they shut this one really quickly as the rest of the protesters moved on. And we were all attending to Todd after that. It was an ending to a night out that Todd thought would never happen to him. And I thought, you know, what could possibly happen? You know, the people that might protest in Cleveland, you know, they'll just, you know, just maybe block traffic, sit on the road. In the aftermath, he says he's not only managing pain, but his anger too. I think it's ridiculous. You know, the people are trying to protest violence with more violence. Why, why would they do that? As you saw in that story, an ambulance did arrive on scene here, but Todd declined to go to the hospital. Cleveland police say they arrested one man in the incident. Live in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.